The Eel 2M versus the U87 D5. Two propellers. Two planes. Two legends. Today, we're comparing perhaps the two most famous ground attack aircraft of World War II. The flying beast of the Soviet Air Forces, the Il-2M, 1943, and the symbol of the Luftwaffe, the U-87 D-5. Let's be specific. You're right. The German aircraft was originally a dive bomber, not a strike aircraft per se. But by the time the D-5 entered production, the U-87 underwent so many changes that it was a very different plane altogether. It gained more armor, lost the Jericho trumpet, and the list goes on. So, let's start with the basics. Both aircraft are found at BR 3.3 and have a wide range of capabilities. Their primary goal is to eliminate ground targets. In air battles, you will aim to destroy ships, tanks, artillery guns, pillboxes and other objects of comparable size. In mixed battles, there are two types of targets, player-controlled aircraft and player-controlled ground vehicles. This is a good time to ask if the U-87 and the Il-2 are actually capable of dealing with the enemy aircraft. Well, <laughs> yes they are, more or less. They have considerable firepower and even some defensive weaponry, but under combat conditions, the only reliable way they can down an enemy is with a head-on attack. These two birds aren't fast enough to catch up with most of their opponents and their turning performance... <sighs> can we skip this part? It's too sad. Okay... The only exceptions to head-on rule are basically just bombers that made a mistake of descending to low altitudes or a short-sighted enemy that you caught right after they had lost energy on an unsuccessful attack or a botched dive. Okay, let's get down to business. Round number one. Let's determine which one is the best flyer. As we said, these two aren't the fastest planes out there. Top speeds are 385 kph on the German plane, and 398 kph on the Soviet one. You won't be flying at these speeds too often though, and don't forget that after a few turning maneuvers, you'd be lucky to fly at anything higher than uh, 250 to 280 kph. Doesn't look like much at BR 3.3, but remember that these two are here to wreck smallish ground targets. You can't do much wrecking when you're zipping right past your targets at breakneck speed, so it's all good. What about turn rates? 34.9 seconds on the eel and 31 seconds on the Junkers. Climb rates are, well, also nothing to be amazed at. 8.6 meters per second on the Soviet machine and 4.2 meters on the German one. And that's without any additional weight. Okay, it's a tough one. Let's say the Eel 2 claims the first round. It is marginally better at flying. The second round is all about firepower and combat power. And it might even be closer than the first one. On the one hand, the Eel 2 carries 100 kilogram bombs while the U87 can drop 500 kilogram bombs. Looks like a clear advantage, right? Well, yes, the German bird can carry up to a ton of bombs. Two 250 kilogram bombs and a big one. But, and that's a very considerable but, you only get two drops. First, you have to get rid of both wing bombs together and only after that can you deliver the 500 kg bomb. There's also a noticeable delay. On the other hand, the German machine has access to a number of interesting payload options. 
it can boost its offensive capabilities with 12 7.92 mm MG-81 machine guns or four 20 mm MG-151 cannons. The Soviet aircraft is far from helpless though. Yeah, the heaviest bombs you have are 100 kilogram ones, but you can get four of them and you can drop them one by one. You can also carry up to eight rockets. Nice. There's a plethora of payload options to choose from, 22 to be exact. We suggest that you take a closer look at two of them. The first, consists of 400 kilogram bombs and eight RS-132s. The second is the same four 100 kilogram bombs and eight RBS-132s. The difference is that RS rockets are great to deal with lightly armored targets and RBSs are for heavier enemy targets. Just remember, that most targets can only be destroyed with direct hits. The Soviet offensive armaments are also nothing to sneeze at. Two 23mm VYA-23 cannons and two 7.62mm Shkas machine guns allow you to destroy enemy SPAAGs and light tanks with relative ease. Not the easiest of choices, but we say that the winner of the second round is the fearsome Eel 2 again. A great combination of firepower and bomb and missile armaments leave us no other choice. 2 nil. Now for the third round. Let's take a gander at their defensive capabilities and armor. Junkers has some armor plating, but just look at all this armor. It's basically a flying tank. What about turrets? The German aircraft doesn't really impress here. Two 7.92 mm MG-81 machine guns versus a 12.7 mm Berezin UB machine gun. That means that it's 3-0 in favor of the IL-2M. Flawless victory. Do you agree with our judgment? Tell us what you think in the comments below.